All right, no rod yet. We've got a new swing arm. Uh, welds all done. Just gotta put it all back together. I'm starting to gather parts to do it right. I got, uh, you know, green screws, fresh pads, mystery bag. Let's see what's in a mystery bag. I honestly don't know what's in there. All right, this is parts. Full bike. This is from uh, Sunny. So this is from Alibaba. This is gonna be a UKC1 display and a Bluetooth adapter. So let's get this going. They actually packed it like a kilo. Interesting. There's a box in a box. New display. Looks like the old display, but slightly better. So that's uh, basically everything you need. Here's my little dongle that I was looking for. Extra screws to mount it. So, um, in theory, we'll just uh, plug and play and see if this works. Here's a current display for reference. This is the SW900. It's a new display. Honestly, you probably wouldn't even tell them apart unless you knew what you're looking at. And obviously, I got all kinds of hardware on here. The one thing the new one has that the old one doesn't is a colorful display and a USB port located right here on the side, which is quite convenient. Here's what the old display would look like. You took power it on. It was backlit LCD. It's a BNV number here. I'm not going to touch the throttle because obviously my wheel's on the ground and that would be dumb. But everything else, uh, odometer, 1181 miles since the last time I reset it. We still got battery life from the last ride. We're still in pass three. So let's, uh, just plug the new one in and see what happens. The cool view is this is the same connector here, which is that five pin through. So let's just swap it. All right, here's a new display just chilling here. I am not going to bolt it in yet because I won't find out if it works. So let's fire it up. Power on. New display uses a new controller as well. I'm just use the on button. Fancy. Now we're getting an 18% list. There's your pads assist up and down. Time, trip, odometer, that's all reset. Average speed, max speed. So, yeah, real time speed. When we start going, then we'll have it. And it's got a built in clock now, too. The only thing I see that's a little funky do is this Z grinding logo that's on there. But I'm not worried about that. That's one more easy thing. Easy upgrade. All you gotta do is just plug and play. Swaps out the uh, SW900 directly for the UKC one. Seeing that right? Anything written on it? UKC ver VT. I'll have a link to it in the description if you're interested in upgrading your display to a color display. Thanks, Ed, for the tip, and uh, yeah, see you out there.